Welcome back. It is the Buckmaster Show on 1030 The Voice, your source for trusted news talk in the Green Things Zocalo Village studio. Pam Krim is with us now, Pam, for her monthly visit to the Buckmaster Show. Pam is the CEO and president of the Better Business Bureau serving Southern Arizona. Pam, how are you? I'm great. Thanks so much for having us today. And and we are delighted that you've brought a, a friend, and the friend is Pat Reisner. Pat is president of South 32. We're going to learn about what South 32 does. Pat, thanks for coming to the program. Thank you for having me this morning. We really appreciate it. And South 32 is is important to the BBB. Certainly. Um, we've had the great opportunity to work with South 32, and I think all of us should more than welcome them into our community. And Pat is a great leader. Um, they are currently, for the second year in a row, have been so generous to be our major sponsor for our Torch Awards that come up May 1st. And as a title sponsor, we've had an opportunity to get to know Pat and their organization and again outstanding organization very supportive of ethics and has he has a lot of great things to to educate us so i'm not going to say much well i do want to hear about this company south 32 Uh, what's it all about pat let's begin there what's the big what's the footprint of this company well first we're pleased to be involved with the torch awards the the spirit of of that program is very consistent with our values so it's really happy to be a part of that event again South 32 is a global mining and metals company that's headquartered in Australia. Um, we have operations around the world in Australia, Southern Africa, South America. But about 18 months ago, we acquired the Hermosa Project, okay. uh, which is down in Santa Cruz County, just south of, of Patagonia. Um, it's our first project in North America, uh, but the company really does see its futures future in the base metals business in the U.S. and in North America. So it makes this project really important to us. Um, we really chose to be a part of this project and to come into southern Arizona, uh, first because of the quality of the resource and what the opportunity uh, there is. It's really shaping to be one of the largest um, undeveloped zinc and lead resources in the world. But the community context around the the project is really what's most important to us. Um, We look to go to areas where, through the development of natural resources, resources that the world really needs for the future, uh, where we can make a significant difference in people's everyday lives for generations. And if you look at at Santa Cruz County, um, you know, 25% of the population in that county live below the poverty line. So Mm -hmm. the opportunity we have with this wonderful resource that the world needs in their backyard is to really develop that in a way uh, to, to help you know, transition and, and make a difference, a positive difference in the lives of the people in Santa Cruz County for a long time. Are you talking about like zinc, silver, lead, those 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 products? Yeah, so the resource that we're studying right now uh, in Santa Cruz County is a, is a zinc, lead, silver resource. So it's it's different to what you see in other parts of Arizona where most of what's mined is copper. Right. Um, these minerals are really critical uh, for the future of where the world's going, particularly for those that care about climate change as we go to renewable energy, um, electric cars, um, silver, zinc, and lead are, are all three critical. Um, silver, about half of the silver in the world, more than half goes to industrial uses, mm-hmm. um, not just jewelry and coins like you might think of. Not um, just like my silver ring here. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. I love about, silver. Yeah. yeah, there's silver in every solar panel you see. <laughs> there's a f- fairly significant amount of silver, so it's going to be important uh, for the future. Same with zinc. Um, rechargeable batteries, you know, the, the electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles you see on the road, yeah. um, which are so important to reducing emissions Lead batteries make those go. Um, they're essential. I mean, just about everything you see in the in the world that's made of steel is galvanized with zinc. So, if we're going to put wind turbines up, you know, zinc becomes sure. really important. So that transition to a green economy is uh, these metals are crucial, and and we can provide those to the world and and we think make a real difference in Santa Cruz County. There was a piece in the Arizona Daily Star yesterday in the business section about how Southern Arizona, Pam and Pat, have become this real center, uh, a lot of synergy happening here for the mining industry. Yeah, you are starting to see a real transition um, of the technology and automation side of our industry 
to be more centered and focused in Tucson. Mm -hmm. So it's another reason why we're proud to be here and happy to be looking to develop a project like this because we do, you know, part of our value set and part of the way we approach this project is to show people, you know, how mining can be different, how we can provide these resources the world needs, but in a more sustainable way and the the way in which Tucson is developing its its mining technology um, industry and support is makes it a great place for us to be as well. So how is your project different than the Rosemont Mine, which has just been plagued with legal challenge after legal challenge? Uh, how is the Hermosa project going to be different? So there are, there are a few really key technical and physical differences, maybe before I touch on those. One thing about our approach that I think will be very important in thinking about what lies ahead is, first of all, we do respect and appreciate the right that the public has to participate in the permitting processes and, and mm-hmm. some of the the approvals we'll require. That's critically important. And so our approach to this early on, so right now we're not involved in any permitting yet, not any regulatory processes yet, but our approach, which I think is very unique in the industry in my experience, is to go and engage and listen early and often to all stakeholders long before you need anything, long before you're actually in a permitting process, and to start to take that in and factor that into how you think about and develop the project. So we've been doing that with the local community in Patagonia, the broader set of stakeholders in Santa Cruz County, the Native American tribes, everyone, while we're still studying the project, it's critical input, which we think down the track as we go into permitting processes and the like will help us produce a product that, um, you know, a, an, an operation or a project that's more amenable to the stakeholders. There's a there's a couple of key differences. Um, our resource is located at great depth, so it will be an underground operation. Oh, I see. Whereas mm-hmm. Rosemont is an open pit. I was just um, going to ask you if yours was an open pit operation. It sounds like it's a, a different ball game. It's, uh, it's underground. So mm-hmm. what that does is it reduces the surface disturbance footprint mm-hmm. from an environmental impact standpoint. Um, we're looking at a mining method where some of the traditional tailings that come out of processing the ore, which in most open pit mines would have to be managed on the surface, we will manage some of those underground. All state which of also, the art. All state which of the art. Which also reduces yeah. that impact. Mm-hmm. Um, and looking at ways to deploy technology mm-hmm. to manage some of those risks better. So they are quite different technically. Um, and, and, and down the track as we go through permitting processes, a lot of that will come out. What is zinc? We talked a little bit about silver, but I guess... Zinc and lead are really critical in industrial use? Just about any structure you see that's made of steel right. that's open to the elements out in, in the open is galvanized with zinc. So it, it keeps steel from corroding. Mm-hmm. So we go and start to deploy more wind energy. Every square inch of a wind turbine um, is coated with zinc to make sure it doesn't rust. Um, it's also used in rechargeable batteries. Um, and, and And the importance of lead... For the green economy is really significant. If we're going to deploy more solar, deploy more wind, and actually move to to 100% renewables, we have to come up with a way to store that energy so we can use it at night when the sun's not shining and when the wind's not blowing. And the battery storage technology that's developing to do that is is almost solely dependent on lead lead batteries. All right, Pat Reisner, thank you for sharing with my listeners and all of us here in Tucson a little bit about South 32, which is going to be the title sponsor for the second year in a row, right, Pam Krim, of yes. your uh, big event, which is coming up when? May 1st, mm-hmm. and it'll be at Casino del Sol. It starts at 530. We're very much looking forward to it, and I hope all your listeners had a great opportunity to get to know South 32. We're very proud to be um, having them participate once again. And South 32 is uh, based, as you said, in Australia, but uh, wants to be a very good neighbor. Is that what I'm hearing, Pat? Absolutely. We have an office here in Tucson um, with about 30 or 40 people, but we're growing. Mm -hmm. We have an office in Patagonia and as well as at the site. So we are growing our employment. And part of being a part of a great event like the Torch Awards is we want we want people to understand how we will approach business and the kind of corporate citizen we want to be in this community. All right, Pat th- Pat Reisner of South Thirty Two, thank you, Pat, for sharing uh, what's going on with your company. I appreciate it, and always a pleasure, Pam Krim. Thank you very much. We'll see you next month. You bet. Thank you. Thanks a lot, thank Pam you. Krim, with us from the Better Business Bureau, serving Southern Arizona, the Buckmaster Show.